Hello guys, Soft Tony here and in today's tutorial we're diving into some tropical summer vibes. I'll show you how to create a colorful and fun intro in just a few minutes using only After Effects. So grab your shades, hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already and let's jump in! Alright, we're here in After Effects and as always let's first create new composition, you can hit here or on this little icon, you can also hit Ctrl or Command plus N on your keyboard and as usual this is gonna be final, full HD and for the duration 10 seconds long. I will hit OK and for the next step let's hit here on this little icon, this is gonna be a rectangle tool and make sure that our fill color is set to white color, solid color and also set the stroke to none. And now let's just double click on this rectangle tool, OK. And now as you can see we have filled up our composition with this shape layer. Let's rename it. This is gonna be transition 01. OK, now let's go inside this rectangle 01. Now let's open up this rectangle path and uncheck this option constraint proportion. And for the X value I will type 320. And as you can see this is gonna be our base shape. And now let's also animate. Now let's open up this transform option and I will animate scale. Now let's go to around 20 frames or so, set up the first keyframe for scale. But before that, let's also uncheck this option constraint proportion like before. All right. And set up the first keyframe for the scale. And now let's also go here at zero frames. Okay. And for the X value, I will type zero. Okay. And when we hit zero on our keyboard, this is going to be our base animation. Now select both of the keyframes, hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. And now let's go here inside the graph editor and draw the curve like this one. Okay. And now let's hit zero. And this is going to be our animation. Okay, now let's close this little triangle, go to around one second or so, select this transition one, go here and find align panel. If you can't find align panel, just go window and you will find align here. And now let's align it to the left side, like so. And our transition one will be here on the left side of our composition. Now select this layer once again, hit P for position. And as you can see, Position for this transition one is 160. Let's duplicate it. Hit Ctrl plus D or go edit and duplicate. And for this transition two, I will move maybe two frames ahead. Okay, hit P for position. And for the X value, I will do plus 320. And as you can see, our transition two will be placed up to this transition 01. Now let's duplicate this once again. Also repeat everything, move two frames ahead, hit P for position. And for the X value, let's type again 480 plus 320. Okay, and as you can see, this looks great. Now what you can do to speed up the process, select every layer, hit Ctrl plus D, move them above transition tree like so, and just reposition them here inside this final composition. And also select them again, transition 4 all the way up to transition 6 and use arrows on your keyboard and I also use shift and move them all the way to the right side to fill up our composition and also make sure that you don't have free space in between our shape layers. And now let's hit 0 to see our animation and this looks nice. Now let's pre-compose everything, select them, go right click, pre-compose and this is gonna be TR01, TR for transition, and then hit OK. And for the next step, I will drag and drop my media. This is free footage from pexels.com, all right. And just drag and drop here inside this final composition, your own media. And now let's also find here for the track map options, alpha map. And also if you can find track map options, just hit here toggle switches and modes. This is larger media, I'll just scale it down to fill up the composition maybe somewhere around here, like so. And now when we hit zero, our media will be looking cool like this. Okay, now let's grab this media 01 and transition, move it maybe two or three frames ahead. Let's duplicate this transition 01, hit Ctrl plus D, and this one move all the way down, turn on the composition, and let's also add fill effect for this transition one, go here inside the effects and presets, 
I will type fill, drag and drop onto our first transition. You can also rename layers if you want, okay. And for the color, I will change this one to maybe white color. Just move this transition here at zero frames, like so. Let's hit zero, and this will be our cool looking animation. All right, guys, here you can pick up whatever color you want. You can also use eyedropper to pick some color from the scene, maybe this one. Let's hit zero once again, and this is looking great. You can also duplicate this transition as many times as you want and just place them maybe two or three frames ahead. All right, now it's time to also create text. Hit Control plus T or go hit on this little icon, horizontal type tool, and make sure to unselect everything here inside the final composition. Grab this icon and I'm using this Montserrat font. And for the font size, this is gonna be 280, like so. And I will just type random text, maybe dynamic. And I will also go here inside the align panel, center it. Let's add a little bit of drop shadows. Find here drop shadows inside the effects and presets, drag and drop. Now I will duplicate this first drop shadow effect for the distance for this second one, zero. And for the softness, maybe let's go to around 200. And as you can see, now we have these cool looking shadows on our dynamic text. Now let's also animate this text, open up this little triangle and then go on animate and find here tracking option. And for the tracking amount, I will go maybe minus 180 or so, somewhere around here. And now let's also open up this range selector one, go here at zero seconds and set up the first keyframe for the offset, go to minus 100. Then let's go to around 20 frames or one second and I will go all the way to 100. And also for the next step, go here on add once again, find your property and let's also check this option opacity. And for the opacity, lower down to zero and now open up this advanced option and change shape from square to ramp up. And you are also free to play around here with ease high and ease low options. I will go for ease high, maybe 100%. And now let's hit zero to see our text animation. And this looks awesome. You can also make this animation faster, maybe to go to around 18 or 20 frames, hit zero. And you can also make them easy ease, select them, hit F9, hit zero once again and this looks great and basically you can experiment with the length whatever fits to you now let's also duplicate this transitional one once again hit ctrl plus d move them above and this is gonna be just matte we're doing this to make sure that our text is inside our media animation and for the track matte change here to alpha matte now let's hit zero once again and this is gonna be our great looking animation now let's also for the final step animate our media 01 hit s for scaling for this media 01 for the first keyframe i will do maybe around 62 because this is larger media if your media is full hd you can type here maybe 115 and set up the first keyframe then let's go to around two seconds or so or maybe three seconds and i will do maybe 56 now let's hit zero to see the preview and this is gonna be our great looking animation all right guys this is the easy way so you can create your summer slideshow summer intro or dynamic intro and for the next step you can also select everything here right click pre-compose rename this one to slide 01 and basically duplicate this slide 01 composition move this maybe to around three or four seconds ahead like so and also make sure that here in the project window you also duplicate this slide 01 this is going to be slide 02 hold alt on your keyboard and drag and drop on this slide 01 go inside the slide 02 you can change text maybe summer or whatever you want here just type and also change the media i'll also repeat everything hold alt just drag and drop and here inside the final composition let's hit zero this is going to be our first media and this is going to be our second media. You are also free to reposition this slide to, to wherever you want, maybe somewhere around here, like so. And this is going to be our cool looking animation. You can also make opposite animation for this transition up or down. It's completely up to you. 
All right, guys, that was everything for today's tutorial. And like always, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe. And also, if you found this video helpful, please leave me a comment down below in the comment section. Also, check out the links in the description. And until next time, stay creative and bye-bye.